All right, so Miss Bailey's here. I am going to show you how to do your next uh, ELA assignment in Google Classroom. Um, so when you go to some period ELA, it always takes you just to the stream page. Um, but I think the best way to find your assignments is to go to classwork. Um, okay, characters in chapters one and two. Um, this is the next thing I'm gonna be posting. It's not due till Friday, so you've got a little bit of time. But first thing you do is listen to instructions. Hopefully you're listening to this video right now. Two, make sure you've read or listened to chapters one and two. And three, open the Google Doc and type in your answers about each character. Okay, so I have already um, listened to chapters one and two, so I'm gonna get started on that third thing and uh, get working. Uh, okay, so directions. Complete the personality chart below for each character you see listed. You must provide evidence when asked. These are based only on what you've read in the first two chapters of The Lord of the Flies. Okay, so Ralph, list his personality traits. Okay, so the first thing I thought of was he's athletic because they do a lot of running around the island. Okay, but, and then you need to come up with two more things about Ralph. Is he nice? Is he mean? Is he friendly? Is he angry a lot? Is he smart? Is he stupid? Tell me some things about Ralph. Okay, then the second thing, evidence that from the text to support this. Okay, so now I need to look for a page number. Um, and I already gave you a hint that he shows he's athletic on page 10. Um, but now I'm going to show you what I want you to do. So you're going to have to look back at chapters 1 and chapter 2. So I'm going to go to chapter 1 because I know that's where I found the thing about him being athletic. Um, and I'm going to go and I'm going to open up this assignment about chapter 1. Again, this is the teacher version and this is what you will see the student version okay so there's the chapter one google doc those are my questions this is copy of chapter one this is the book so i'm going to open up that and now this is where i need to find information that supports what i said okay so your page numbers are over here they show up kind of in this funny spot um and now i'm going to go to page 10 because that's where i remember reading something about ralph being athletic so oh, look at i even highlighted it um okay so, Ralph disentangled himself cautiously and stole away through the branches. In a few seconds, the fat boy grunts were behind him, and he was hurrying toward the screen that still lay between him and the lagoon. He climbed over a broken trunk and was out of the jungle. Okay, so this climbing over a broken trunk just sounds intense to me, so that's what I'm going to highlight. Or copy and paste it. I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to bring it into here. On page 10, it says, and there's the dot, dot, dots there, but I need to put it in quotations, a space, quotation marks, and then I can paste it. And it always comes out a little funny. I need to put another quotation mark. And then I need to backspace this weird enter down that shows up. Okay. Um, I guess I don't need a period here, do I? Um, this shows, or actually, I could, I should leave the period there, and then I should start with a capital letter, and this is a new sentence. This shows the trait that Ralph is athletic. Okay, so there's an example there. Now you need to finish. Um, what things seem important to him so far? What is important to Ralph is, tell me what's important to him, and then add it from the text to support this. So on page blah, 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 it's set, it says blah, blah, blah. So again, I'm putting in my quotation marks. And this shows, oh, it shouldn't be the trait anymore. It should say, this shows what is important to Ralph is... Um, okay, and then how does he compare to Jack? Answer, Ralph is like Jack because, Ralph is not like Jack because, and I want you to finish writing that in there. Okay, moving on to the next person, Jack. List his traits, tell me some things about Jack. Um, and then evidence from the text that supports this, just one quote for, the, for one trait. Okay, so on page, again, I would want to be going back and looking at my chapter and finding something about Jack. Um, here's something about Piggy. Hint, hint, we're going to do Piggy next. Um, 
but again, you always want to have some tabs up here where you're clicking back and forth and you're looking for what you need. So I'm looking in here for something about Jack. Mm -mm -mm. Again, this is all just around Ralph and Piggy, Ralph and Piggy. Where can I find something about Jack? He has an answer. Enter the book until late in chapter one, I guess. Um, here we go. Here we go. I'm so looking for something about Jack. Here we go. You're talking too much, said Jack. Shut up, fatty. Oh, this sounds mean. So maybe I would say Jack is mean, and I would look. This is on page 27 if you want to use this, and I would copy and paste that right there into my evidence to show that Jack is mean. Okay, and what things seem important to him so far? What's important to Jack is, and then again, you got to find it somewhere in the text. you got to click back and forth between chapter 1 or chapter 2, and tell me which, how you know that. Okay. Um, how does he compare to Ralph? Jack is like Ralph because. Jack is not like Ralph because. Tell me how they compare. Okay. And now um, the last couple of things. Piggy. List his personality traits. Tell me about Piggy. Okay. So I, I messed up this sentence here. I shouldn't see. This shows the trait. This shows what is important. To Piggy is okay and then find that evidence again looking back in the chapter about something find something about Piggy okay and then how does he compare to the other boys Piggy is like the older I should say other other boys because Piggy is not like the other boys because um, who are Sam and Eric answer Sam and Eric are Evidence from the text to support this. Just one quote. And the text that says blank, this shows Sam and Eric are. Again, you got to look back in the chapter. Find where it talks about um, Sam and Eric. And maybe that's in chapter two. Maybe you have to go look in chapter two. Um, what do you know about Simon? I know Simon is. What happened to the bo boy with the mulberry colored birthmark? What happened to this boy with the bir birthmark? Okay, uh, if you need help with this assignment, let me know. I'm happy to help you get through it. Um, again, it's be the best thing for you to do is to listen to this video and pause it as I'm reading through each question and then doing each question and then listening to me read it, pausing it, waiting for the doing that question before you move on. Uh, I miss you all and I hope you're staying safe.